coronavirus. I like structure. I like symmetry. So I find things that show up as oddities, peculiarities, things that I first describe just descriptive and hopefully when they are described properly everyone would agree yes that happened and I want to emphasize that in this non-conflictual meeting that Mary Mary and I had in you said it was 82? A winter of 82. I remember the room, I remember the coffee, <laughs> I remember everything but the year. <laughs> It wasn't conflictual. We were three colleagues looking at videotapes and descriptively we agreed. We did not agree on the interpretation of our descriptions. So when you get to asking about modifiers, they start at the descriptive level. We see some things that don't fit our already defined method, describe them, and for me, there is always a category called either SO or IO, secure other or insecure other, meaning we think we can make the secure insecure distinction, but it doesn't fit anything that we have described up to now. And that's a holding category. That's where we place anomalous things until we get enough of them to say, oh, here are two or three that are alike. And I'll tell you, I'm very comfortable making theory on two and certain that I'm right by the time I get three. <laughs> um, this is our holding category. And so depression, children who looked like A's or B's or C's, but went into that category. And so did AAIs, adult speakers that had many characteristics of A or B or C, but the strategy in all these cases didn't seem to operate protectively, left us asking, could this be a depressed person? If I move to the AAI, which is the better way to define the category, I think it's in its mature form, depression in an AAI is all the information, explicit, visible, not hidden, not distorted. There it is, truth in your face, but no implications for the self. Nothing I can do that would change this. So it lined up quite nicely with Seligman's learned helplessness. You have all the information, but it includes the information that there are no implications for your behavior, that you are a pawn in this situation. As I thought about it further, and partly because there's this irritant on my right-hand side that keeps pressing with emails and questions, <laughs> um, <laughs> it seems to me that what characterizes individuals that in the DMM are called depressed, not as a psychiatric diagnosis. These are similar groupings of people, but I am not trying to duplicate the psychiatric uh, diagnosis, which is very broad, includes all kinds of things. For the DMM, I've defined it in information processing terms. And what seems crucial for depression is that the individual has all the information, presents you with all the information, and has moved to the integrative level too rapidly. They have not been able to see if there is omitted information, if there is context-specific information, if there is information distorted by maturation. They got it when they were young, but it could look differently now. They have moved to the integrative step too quickly to be able to determine whether there are some opportunities for the self to take action that the self didn't perceive at the time that it got the information 
in childhood. That was how I was going to finish that sentence. But the point is that you now have, in a sense, two forms of the depressed modifier. One is accurate. The person sees reality absolutely accurately, and there is nothing they can do to protect themselves. The other is a distortion coming from the past, where at the time that they got the information, there wasn't anything they could do. But if they themselves, or they with the help of someone else, was able to unpack probably the source of the information, the timing of the information, the current context, they might find opportunities for action that they didn't have earlier. And I cast it this way as premature integration because I think we have focused so heavily on treatment around integrative processes that may be occurring prematurely, particularly <coughs> in our most disturbed individuals, that I think in treatment, if we move too rapidly to reflecting before we have adequately described, and then move too quickly from reflecting to integrating, and we don't have that sequence of an accurate description followed by possible interpretation that are then integrated, we may, we may lose information that the individual could have used. All right. Is that clear enough? It does. So, so now I have depression set up as, I hope, a continuum. Because I told you I really like organized ideas. I don't like a little category out here unrelated to a little category over there. Um, so I've set up depression as having a great deal of explicit information, all of which is deemed irrelevant to the self accurately or inaccurately, but it's deemed irrelevant to the self, therefore there are no implications for my behavior. I sit and I let the roll, world roll over me. At the other end we have disorientation. 